Since how long you did not reply your Google My Business reviews? That is one of the most important parameter in today's business rating, your business performance, your business reputation, and even to your clients as well, right? But many people, many business owners did not even realize that they haven't replied to their Google My Business reviews for days, for weeks, or even months. What if I tell you this whole review response is written by AI based on the review sentiment, either it's one star, two star, three, four, five, it's an appreciation or a complaint. Everything is being handled by AI. And it is not just limited to that. AI is also going to analyze the review sentiment, is going to create a personalized reply and will also tell us what is wrong with our business, what people are complaining about, what people are appreciating about. And that's how you can stay competitive. So this whole review response mechanism is being built kind of a zap where it watches new review. It analyzes that whole data using AI by Zapier. We can use chat GPT, we can use any other model inside this and it's going to create a sophisticated personalized reply based on the review rating as well as the reviewer name altogether the review content as well. Once one that is done is going to put all this data into a Google sheet and that Google sheet looks like this. And here the Google sheet shows you what kind of reviews people have given to you, the review date, the reviewer name, the rating as well as the original review content the reply date from our side using AI and this whole automation workflow. And finally, the replied review text as well. So you understand, you know that nothing is going wrong with this whole AI system, right? You can always read the replies and you can always do a double check kind of this, right? What comes out of this at the last, this kind of a beautiful dashboard where you can see a month on month trend of how reviews are being allocated, five, four, three star ratings, here daily review traction. And on top of that, we can also build a complete review analysis which shows you what's wrong, what's the complaint, what is the appreciation about. And you can stay ahead of your competition. You can prevent losing your business. You can prevent losing your customers as well. So with that being said, let's get started. Let's jump in into the development side where we are going to build this whole automation together from scratch. And you will learn how simple it is to build these kind of basic automations. I'm also going to give you a complete template, complete prompt, as well as this Google sheet. Uh, as the Google Sheet template altogether. So if you're excited, let's jump in there. Okay, so we are going with a basic zap. I hope you can build this basic Google Sheet. It's nothing big. It's uh, starting with review date, review name, the rating over here, kind of a drop down, five, four, three, two, one. Then here we have original review column. Here we have date column, the review reply and review sentiment. You can simply go on this particular Google Sheet, click on files and do make a copy. It's pretty straightforward. Now, the most important part comes inside the Zapier. So let's get in here. Here we can, obviously Zapier login is not a big deal. I provide link at the description. So please go ahead and create your Zapier account if you don't already have that. And by doing that, you'll get a thousand Zaps every month for free. So just go ahead and grab that particular deal, right? Okay, so let's get started. So here we are inside Zapier. Now click on this create button. So click create a new Zap and then we will be inside our Zapier account. Now as a trigger point, we are going to choose whenever someone submits a new Google My Business review, we wanted to start this whole automation workflow. Here we are, simply type in Google Business. And as soon as you type, like many applications will come, but here, here it is called Google Business Profile. Click on that. Now it is going to ask you which app. Obviously, we selected this particular app. Click on Trigger Event. So here we are. We'll simply trigger this event whenever a new review is added. So click on New Review. Like here, you have to add your Google My Business account profile, right? So simply click on this. Connect New Account. Obviously, I already connected. That's why it's asking me to connect New Account. Otherwise, you can always like from scratch start it, right? So my Google My Business Review account is connected with this particular Gmail, which is admin at the rate growstax.com. So click on this. It will ask you to authorize a couple of things. Pretty straightforward. Continue. Here it's asking for a couple of permissions. Absolutely fine. Zapier is way more safe. So no issues on that. Click continue. And that's it. So our Google Business Review account is now connected inside Zapier. Now, once you click on continue, you see here, it's asking for account. Now, just a quick example. You may have multiple business accounts connected inside one single Gmail. That's absolutely okay. As soon as you click on account, it's going to choose you. Okay, select your Google account and then locations. I have multiple locations over here. So this is called Gross Tax, Gross Tax Demo, Breast Learning. These are multiple companies that I own, but simply go with Gross Tax, click continue, and that's it. Now we start getting reviews inside Zapier. Right. So let's click on test trigger. Let's see what happens. See, Zapier gave us three records, A, B, C. Let's click on C. And here you see the latest review came on 16th of March, 2025. Done by the Vanshu. And here's the rating five, 
right? Now, if you go to our actual page, you can see here the latest review came almost seven weeks ago by the Vyan Shuraj, this guy, right? And there is no review text, only rating is given. Then before that, there is a review given by William Pads. So let's go here. Let's click on B. Here, it's extracting William Pads. The five star rating, Manish and his team did excellent job. So he recognized us uh, for our good work. Absolutely fine. The review to create time, update time and so on. And number rating is total five, right? So we are good with this. Now we are getting our Google My Business reviews inside Zapier. Now let's click on continue with selected record. At the second level, after this point, here we have to put some AI. And what AI is going to do? AI will basically analyze this review content. AI is also going to look at the rating, like either it's one, two, three, four, five star, and then will prepare a reply according to that, right? But before that, we have to give some review uh, we have to give some sort of a prompt to AI, like how to respond to it, right? So let's click here. Now, Zapier got an inbuilt AI that is called AI by Zapier and that's available on all the paid plans. So you don't have to worry about that. Simply, you if you pay for Zapier, that's absolutely good. If not, then in that case, you can also go with ChatGPT OpenAI and you can also configure your OpenAI API key, any sort of uh, API model, and then it can work pretty straight. So for now, we'll go with AI by Zapier. Let's click on that. Here it says analyze and return data. So we are good with this. Let's click continue. And here we see all of the different options configurations. So first it says provider. Who's the provider? Like we can choose between multiple AI companies, AI uh, providers. So it can be OpenAI, Anthropic Cloud, Google has Gemini and other things. Then Azure also got OpenAI hosted on Azure for business level, uh, enterprise level configurations. So we'll go with simply with OpenAI, which we all know very well. Authentication, uh, currently it is provided by Zapier. So we don't have to authorize with our own API key or something. We can simply go with Zapier provided free OpenAI. Then here we can select the model. You can see all of the latest models are available over here. So it's O3 mini, O1 or O4 mini, GPT-4 and so on. We'll by default go with 4O mini, which is the most economical and good model.